not to scrap by if you have limited resources, can you even afford content strategy? And my feeling on that is, hell yeah, you can, and you need it even more when you do have limited resources of time or budget or creativity. Um, and I think in many organizations, they feel like, okay, well, we have the right people, but availability is not necessarily a skill set. And um, for those reasons, when you are dealing with constraints for the people that you can bring on to a project, I think you need content strategy that starts first and foremost with a message architecture. You need to know, well, what are your communication goals so that everybody can be sort of walking in lockstep around them. Um, and then you need to figure out how to make those communication goals, how to make that message architecture actionable. For me, that always translates into figuring out, implementing an editorial calendar so you know what you're creating, by whom, and at what frequency, um, and then editorial style guidelines so that you know how you're creating whatever it is that you're creating. I feel like those are the, the very basic building blocks to implement a content strategy if you only have very limited resources and um, if everybody has to wear multiple hats and all. Yeah, I um, you know in that situation where you're wearing multiple hats, um, I think it's you know in addition to that, which I think everything Margot um, said is spot on. Um, you need to define the responsibilities for content. Okay, you might not have separate distinct roles. You might not have you know a separate person doing um, you know. Uh, doing social and a different person, um, you know, overseeing your prop program uh, content and um, a separate person kind of uh, wrangling source material about a new, you know, strategic project. You might have people doing, you know, design and content for a certain area. Um, you have that decentralized situation where, you know, multiple sub-sites are kind of um, overseen by different small teams and so um, you might not have the real distinct roles that you might um, see in a real large organization um, but what you can do and define are the responsibilities so we know that we you know each quarter say need to review this content um, and update it or each you know academic year we need to update our um, uh, program and degree content and here's you know how that's going to work and here's who's going to do it and so if you have those clear responsibilities um, as part of your governance along with the you know other guides and tools and supporting kinds of documentation um, you'll have you know different people trying to do the same thing and wasting time and resources and um, overlap and confusing communication. So that would be the only thing I would add.